Lurking darkness. Enter the woods. Damn, music's a little heavy. September 14th, 1990. Four friends would enter the Greenlock Woods for an overnight camping trip. Two days later, they were reported missing. A search party was quickly put together. RIP. As part of this party, your goal is to find any survivors within the woods. Got that? Alright. Or what's left of them. Looks like I don't have a whole lot of time before it gets dark. With some luck, maybe I can find their campsite and go from there. Damn, this guy is so fast. Alright, let's go this way first. Oh. <clears throat> it's early in the morning right now, and we might just be in some trouble after barely even one night. We heard something outside our tents last night. Maybe a bear or something. Whatever the case, they went away after around ten minutes. For some reason, though, Danny was super freaked out, and he really wanted to get out of here. Uh, Stu forgot... Stu fought with him over leaving because it took us months to organize his camping trip, and Danny eventually calmed down. But then we wake up this morning, and Danny is gone. So is our truck. Or so is our truck. We're miles from the village, but luckily there are park rangers around here, so we'll go looking for them soon. Alex also overpacked, so we have a ton of supplies. I mean, who needs two axes? Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we can, like, go in the woods. A rock. A big piece of wood. The hole in the fence has been barricaded. Maybe I can find something to help get these logs out of the way. Possibly. The campsite! Their campsite? <laughs> it's been deserted. Why would they leave? Maybe they're further down the trail, at least. I hope so. It's sundown at this point, and it's just Stu and I left. We managed to barricade the hole in the chain link fence with some fallen logs, but I don't think it matters. Alex took off towards the cries we've heard in the distance on the other side of the woods with one of our axes. He said he was going to find someone and get us out of here. It's been nearly three hours. We haven't seen him since. Only heard his screams. All we have to defend ourselves is an axe. But the voices move too fast to even know which direction to swing at. We've decided to lock up the axe in the lockbox we brought. We know we're not going to be able to fight back at all. It's pretty cowardly. Just accept your fate. Not me, boys. Ooh. What do you think the code would be? It wasn't in the note. Wait, 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 wait. I just got turned around. Came in this way. So we kind of know...
like the general layout here. Is it like a, you know... Is there a code in here? Oh, wait. Yep. I see D. R. It's a capital D. An A. And an R. D. A. Dark. I did it. <laughs> Give me that. Wait, how do I? How do I, uh, break it? How do I get my axe? Utility. Something. The utility hatchet is broken. You are now defenseless. It's okay, I have the heart of a lion. It was a bloodbath. It came back to the campsite and tore Stu apart. And I just ran. I've kept running and running, but I don't think I'm lost and going in circles. I ran past the ranger station, but it was totally deserted. I'm so scared. Is it still hunting me? It just wants us to suffer, to play with us. What will happen to me? It ripped Stu's head clean off, tore off his limbs. Is that what happened to Alex? It can't end. It can't end this way. Bro, I think it can, actually. Not sure why I just laughed right there. Oh shit. Was that my footsteps? Cause those are the... Maybe there's a little bit of a lag. Bro, where's the flashlight? God. Nobody's here. Where did the park rangers go? Well, he told you they're not here. September 15th, 2 o'clock. Heard cries for help off in the distance, and my partner hasn't shown up yet. I have no clue what to do, since I haven't even had this job for a night yet. I guess I'll go look for who's crying, but I'm definitely not made for this. Um... Welcome Night Rangers. For the first time in over 40 years, Greenlock Park is now officially open at night. And you're here to make sure it stays open. And to protect its visitors too, of course. I'm not the brightest crayon in the drawer. Oh! I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't. I do And then he probably died. Rip, dog. Rip. 
Oh! <laughs> Got a rolling boulder. Bigfoot definitely threw that. So, re refresh my mind. Or my mind. My memory. Oh my! There! I think I'm gonna be sick. Blah. I don't understand. Who would do this? Something is very, very wrong. I need to get back to my car right now. Hold shift to sprint? Bro, I am. Oh my god. This is gonna be... This guy is a, like an Olympic sprinter. We can do this, we can do this. Oh my god. Yeah, something is wrong, bro. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh! Shit! That thing said I want to die. Biscuit, what up, dog? Uh, have a good meeting. Uh, thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. Dude, that was creepy. I didn't think like a little pixelated game could give me the spooks. That was creepy. You see how I just juked him? I was like, oh, get off me, shorty. That was cool. I liked that game, actually.